everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Consciousness and Evolution is a program from Reaprendation International to facilitate access to information regarding parasitism, out-of-body experience, bioenergies, multiple lives, and so many other interesting topics related to the conscientious self-reeducation. Today, let's explore our new online course, Fundamentals of Consciousness Evolution, answer some common questions, and give you an overview of our course with the help of three special instructors, Eliane Voslage, Fabiana Serato, and Jacqueline Cowen. First, to help me present the course structure, methodology, and our institution, I welcome instructor Eliane, who is also one of the coordinators of this course. Eliane Voslage has a Master in Language and Society, a Bachelor in Arts, she has been a faculty professor for more than 20 years and a volunteer and conscientiology instructor since 2000. Co-author of the English-Portuguese Glossary of Essential Conscientiology Terms. Currently, she's coordinating the English language thesaurus of conscientiological terminology. Welcome, Instructor Eliane. Hello, Marlon. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here with you to talk about the fundamentals. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Marlon Murado. I am an accountant, Cambridge certified English teacher, polyglot and world explorer, volunteer of Conscientiology since 2008, instructor since 2015, and I'm the, one of the coordinators of this course, Fundamentals. So, Eliane, talking about our course, what is the course Fundamentals of Consciousness Evolution? Well, uh, this course is considered an entry course in Conscienciology. And what does that mean? That is, it has all the basis of this new science and its essential concepts. So it seems that, wow, it's basic and so it's e an easy course. And it's not like that. It's not a difficult course, but it's not an easy one because we present uh, some very important concepts based on the conscientious paradigm, but that you can apply in your everyday life and make it better for you. And so um, uh, we have in each class, we try to explain the theory and also give practical exercises for the students to to put that theory into practice. And um, I suppose our students like it very much because they can understand, they can debate the concepts and really apply them for their own benefits. So this is basically the course. And um, this Fundamentals has 20 classes. Each class has two hours and a half in a total of 50 hours. So it's going to start in September, and for the Americas, it's going to be Friday and Saturday, uh, starting at 9 p.m. And in Australia, it's going to be Saturdays and Sundays morning, starting 10 p.m. The course will take um, the whole September, October, and half of the month of November. So you are all invited. If you can participate, I think it's a great opportunity. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Excellent. So talking a little of our, a little about our institution, uh, this course is offered by Reaprendation. Reaprendation, founded in 2010, is an international and non-profit organization that specialized in teachers' formation, parapedagogy, bioenergetics, parapsychism, and self-reeducation. Reaprendation is an organization that works with volunteers from different countries, applying the principles of the conscientious paradigm and helping others to reach a meaningful life, mastering bioenergies, and work on their self-reeducation. And we talk a little about the course structure or and methodology. So what we have, Eliane just said, right? We have two and a half hours for each class that we have. So each of our classes are synchronous classes. We, we do the classes via Zoom platform and they're always recorded just like our webinar. So you can watch them later or review the topics of the class. 
the classes are very interactive, right? We're the instructors and the students, we all contribute with ideas, personal experiences. We, there's a lot of debate and many moments for self-reflection and practical activities with peer learning focus. So each class, we have the material for each class where the student can read before the class, bring their questions and take advantage of the, the moment of the class to solve any questions regarding all the material. And each class is divided around two hours where we explore this content and 30 minutes of energy work session at the end. So we emphasize uh, that the students maintain critical thinking and they try to experience that by themselves these topics and ideas that are presented. Eliane, can you tell us a little about the instructors? Yes, sure. Well, our instructors go uh, through a 10-month training course. Um, usually, they are uh, graduated from Reaprendência. And this, uh, these instructors are also in continuous uh, self-formation because we are constantly participating in, an, in another courses of consensology. We try to write articles, to participate in, in seminars and, um, and have other experiences inside consensology. So we are always updating. And another thing uh, is that we try to unite the theory of the, the theoretical part of Consensiology and the practical part of Consensiology. For example, uh, one premise that we always talk about in our classes and we, we are always putting into practice is to be assistential, for example, for instance. And we, if we talk about assistance, we, we have to be assistants, assistant, assistential in our daily lives. And so we try to put that into practice. If we are talking about mastering our own bioenergies, so we are constantly trying to work with our energies and um, do assistance with it and learn through this, the, this, this processes and experience the conscientious paradigm. So um, these teachers also are come from different areas and different professional areas in society. They have different backgrounds, experiences, and we have uh, some teachers who live abroad. Other teachers are, are uh, Brazilian, others from other countries. And this brings us a lot of interesting information, interesting um, different as, uh, uh, opinions for us to debate, and that makes the classes very rich, very, very nice to, to participate. So basically, these are our teachers. We are very proud of them to, to be working with them in this project. What is interesting is that since we have these uh, instructors and the students from all over the world, as time zones allows us, um, the classes are always very dynamic, right? Because everybody contributes with their experience. They often, instructors and students, bring experience to the table, bring experience to class to be debated. And so the classes are often very dynamic where we have these moments of sharing and, and trying to understand, right? The conscientious paradigm and applying these techniques. And another thing that uh, I'd like to add is that this course, Fundamentals of Consciousness Evolution, is uh, uh, already been given to more than 500 hundred students all over the world. We had students from many, many places. And we, we can see that this, um, this leading edge relative truth they are, they interest all the cultures, all the ages, genders, from people from different uh, cultural backgrounds. So we, when we talk about out-of-body experience, that calls attention of many, many cultures. We talk about mastering our own bioenergies. People love to hear from that and to use that. And... 
that's uh, very interesting because we we can see that consensuality is something that interests a lot of people, a great variety. So that's why we are inviting you, our viewers, to participate with us. Excellent. So to go more into details about the topics that we explore in the course and give you an overview of the topics, uh, I'm calling and Fabiana Serrat and Jacqueline Cowan to join us today here. Um, Jacqueline Cowan is graduated in Urban Planning and Master of Urban Design, born in Sydney, Australia, and currently lives in Iguazu Falls since 2014. A volunteer of Conscienciology since 2007, Conscienciology teacher since 2009, and Penta practitioner since 2016. Co-author of the English Portuguese Glossary of Essential Term Conscienciology Terms. Welcome, Jacqueline. You are without the sound. Ah. Thank you, uh, Marlon. It's great to be here. Excellent. Fabiana Serato is graduated in architecture, specialized in positive psychology, didactics, and methodology, project planning, and building. She has been a self knowledge researcher, speaker, and teacher of conscientiology since 1997. Currently, she's an entrepreneur, interpreter, and a writer. Welcome, Fabiana. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here talking about such an important course. Beautiful. Fabiana, can I ask you a question? Um, so let's explore the what is consciology? Why did you why did you decide to study this science? What can we tell our viewers? Yes, uh, consciology is the basis. Uh, what structure all those twenty classes? Consciology is a science that study ourselves as an individual. And we are studying as an integral way from the multi-existential, multi-bioenergetic point of view, multi exology point of view. It means that we study ourselves from a more integrated overview. So there are many science that aim to study human beings, for example, psychology, neuroscience, even other science that aim to study ourselves. The difference, um, I would say, is that uh, consensiology looks for a more wide open perception, a self-perception that goes in deep to ourselves. That's, for, that's why we analyze energy, other lives, and non-physical perceptions. And this is why I joined Consensiology, because a few decades ago, I had a very interesting experience. I was a very materialistic person, and then I came back from home, from my work, and out of nothing, I saw a being, an individual with half metal and half human. And then I was like, what is that? Am I dreaming? Am I, this, is this a reality? And that was what triggers me to go and look for something else until I was able to get in touch with consensiology. And then you could understand that was an now, extra consciousness. Exactly. Now, yes. But in the first time, without having no other experience, for me, it was a shock. I, was, uh, I thought I was like daydreaming, you know? but now we can understand and experience and even get in touch in a more harmonic way. And help others also understand their experiences, yes. right? That's why we're, we're exactly. here as instructors for this course, teaching this course. Yes. So the yes. students can have, we can bring their experience wow. to the course where we can try to explain, try to give a light, a different perspective on these aspects. Excellent. So talking about uh, one of the main topics that we have, which is bioenergies. And we, again, for each class, we have 30 minutes practice with bioenergies. Jacqueline, can you help me? What is bioenergies? What is the concept that we deal in consciology? How do we explore it in classes? 
So this is one of the, the very interesting topics, right, that we, we talk about, this idea of bioenergies. It's something that um, a lot of people will, you know, have had at least, you know, some experiences with, even if they're not aware of, you know, the fact that it's a bioenergetic interaction. But we see um, from the point of view of, of consensuology, we see that um, there are two basic realities, uh, the consciousness and energies that, that are existing in the universe. And, um, and so the energies we see is surrounding all living things. It's within us and it's, it's surrounding all living things. And it, you know, it's permeated throughout the universe. Um, and it's also something which the consciousness uses to manifest itself. So we could say that we're like all living in like an ocean of energy. And, um, and so, for example, we can uh, think of different instances where we have this bioenergetic energetic interaction. So, for example, we can meet someone um, and, you know, maybe the person is, is uh, talking very uh, negatively about something and then we can feel drained of energy or we might get a headache. Or on the other hand, we can speak to someone about a, a topic that's really positive and meaningful and we can actually get recharged from the situation. We can go to different environments and depending on the type of environment it is, either we, we feel the, the effects of, you know, whether it's getting drained or getting, you know, some kind of sign for an energetic signal, um, which we talk about uh, during the class. Um, and so, yeah, there's, there's just... Um, that these interactions that are happening all the time. And so then we, we go deeper into that and we help people understand, you know, what's going on with this. Um, and then, for example, um, so we say that, you know, there's the two types of energies, the, the energies from humans, the consensual energy, and from uh, the nature as well, that, which we call the imminent energy. Um, and, and so during the course, we, we teach a number of different techniques, um, to, yeah, help people to better perceive and control their own energies. And, um, we specifically focus on what's known as the vibrational state. One of the most important techniques that can help us to, uh, clean our own energetic fields, right? Uh, so we teach this technique and we, we emphasize this a lot and it can really help you to you know, once you develop over time to, to be able to control your energies better and to uh, ultimately it, it helps your own life, right, um, quality of life, so, and unblock your energies. So this is what we, yeah, we teach during the course. Very important, this part of energetic self-defense. That's it. Like the Six environment. Let's explore a little more. What are the different techniques that we teach the students in those 30 minutes that we practice? So we talk about vibration state. Vibration state is our master technique. It's the mm -hmm. one that we apply in every class at the end in those 30 minutes of practice. And so vibration state, roughly or basically, the, the bigger picture is to put your energies into a vibrational mode, right? So we have a technique, a sequence to do that, right? Where we open, where we send our energies to the top of our heads and we work our energies, moving them up and down and accelerating until what we call, until we reach what we call a vibrational state. But let's talk about these techniques. What are other techniques or let's explore more this vibrational state? Yeah, and I should mention that it's, it's not something that only, for example, gifted people can, can do. It's something that everyone can do. Everyone can learn these techniques. Everyone can, you know, develop their control of energies, which also helps them, you know, um, to perceive more things around them. You know, it even helps with, you know, psychic abilities. But one thing that uh, Eliani mentioned was this, you know, self-defense. So, you know, we can actually yeah uh defend ourselves against any intrusive energies that come our way or to clean our own energetic systems but um yeah this idea of the the vibrational state is is fundamental for this and and so we we teach that but also this basic mobilization of energies right there's uh these three different techniques that we use um 
So, you know, the exteriorization of energies, which is basically putting your energies outside of you, right? And, and there's reasons why we do that, whether, you know, to clean environments or to assist, right? And then the, the absorption of energy, right? The bringing of the energy into your energetic body, usually as a way to, to recharge yourself, your energetic uh, system. And then, you know, just the, the closed circulation, so moving your energies up and down your body. So these, these techniques, we go into more detail and, and you get to actually practice these techniques um, during the course. So it's, it's, it's very Can I good. just um, compliment that on Jacqueline? I think it's very interesting because bioenergies, they, they are the key for our existence. And just the fact uh, that we don't know, perhaps we never heard about or we never practice, we are missing big opportunities not only to get in better shape, but also to be able to help others. Because sometimes words are not enough. Sometimes we just need to send our best energies, no? Uh, not only best thoughts, best energies. And then as, as you, you mentioned, we explore different techniques to help us to deal better with this key for life. You know, there are mm. other techniques in which we are going to explore every class those, during those 30 minutes. Very good. Fabiana, can you help me? What yes. are the, the, the topics that we explore? Can you give us a, an overview of the topics that we explore in this course? Yes. Um, I well, it's important to emphasize that we are dealing with 20 different classes. You no, know? I will bring a few classes here, a few ideas of the essential of the classes. For example, we are going to have a specific class to talk about the holosoma, which is the conjunction of the four bodies that we as individuals we use to manifest ourselves. We are very aware of the physical body. This is for sure, we all know. But how about the other three bodies? The bioenergetic one we just mentioned, the emotional body, the mental body. So we are going to explore that in that specific class. We have one um, entire class for that. And then we also will be dealing, uh, going in deep with bioenergetic self-mastery, which is one of the solid basics to study conscienciology with techniques and how we interact, how we get in touch, how we go deep in terms of learning more about energy, consciential energy, immanent energy. Then we have the Apara Phenomenology class, which is a class specifically to deal with supernatural phenomena, to, to understand those phenomena, like how, how it happens. Perhaps we have been having poltergeist or telekinesis, uh, insights, different paraphenomena that we don't know how to deal. So how is the best way to deal and to comprehend and to understand those phenomena? This is one class specific for that. We also have projectology class, which is a synonym of OBE, out of the body experience. We have one um, practice that the instructor Valdo Vieira wrote about projectology, and it's a class to deal with the entire cycle of out of the body projection. What happens before? during the uh, extra physical period after the difference between dream and projections because sometimes we think we are dreaming and we are actually out of the body one important point everybody pops out of the body every night we are just not aware of that no and, then and we also, we also a... teach for the out of body experiences we also teach many techniques exactly Yes, in that class, we have uh, the cycle and techniques to help you to go out of the body with lucidity and no fear at all. We, no, perhaps we have some fear because we are not aware, but as soon as we understand, the fear goes away. No? 
And then we have also a very important class, which is a self-researchology class. It's a class to understand all the tools, the mechanisms to help us to do our solid base, which is self-research, self-knowledge, how we can deal better. Where should we start by recycling ourselves? How, how I start, with techniques, which mechanisms? we should use to dig it, you know, dig down in ourselves. So this is also an, an important class. We have also another class about uh, life mission, the existential program, you know, to deal with our life mission, our existential, uh, we call it pro-axis, existential program. What are the clauses? What are uh, the things that we need to consider how I connect myself with my goals in life. This is an, an interesting class because we are also going to, to merge theoretical and practical parts. There are a few interesting practical parts. And there are other classes. I'm just naming a few, so actually 20 classes, no? theory and every class with 30 minutes of different practice. So. Eliane, can you help us here? Do we have any other classes that call your attention that there are your yeah. preferred classes? Yes, we have the laboratory of contact with helpers. So helpers are our invisible friends. They are more evolved extra physical consciousnesses that are that uh, are helping us in this intraphysical life. And we we they are not, for example, our relatives our father and mother who passed away they are usually not these consciousnesses that we we know in this life uh, but they are always trying to help us and it's very interesting and important that we get that we learn how to make contact with them because then we uh, will more easily um, accomplish our existential program because they they really try to to help us to do our mission of life, to accomplish the tasks we committed to once we were in an intermissive course, that is the course that we take between two uh, intraphysical lives, when we are in the extraphysical period. So these helpers are of great importance and many of us don't know how to contact them. And so we have a laboratory in which we we learn about them and we make a, there is a lot of techniques to make a, a rapport or uh, a energetic uh, connection with them. So I, I like very much this laboratory. It's very rich, the field that it forms, it's very valuable for self-reflection, self-knowledge and this contact, it's wonderful. We also have a video class in which we bring a movie, a, a regular movie from Hollywood. And in these movies, we have a lot of conscienciological um, concepts. And it, it also, when we are together and we are in a field of conscienciology, we, we, what, what that field is, is when we form um, a, a, an energetic environment in which uh, we become more aware more sensitive to this um, extra physical helpers, to this energy contacts, to new synapses of new knowledge, for example, this extra physical knowledge. And this Hollywood movie can sometimes bring us a lot of reflection and make us understand better these concepts that are being presented. So I th think it's a very important class and there is another one that I can point out that is the conscientious autonomy class. That is when we, after we learn uh, all these essential concepts, we reach class 19 and we are going to learn and to also to self-evaluate our levels of autonomy. How are we um, considering our financial autonomy, our emotional autonomy, our professional autonomy. How are we? So we, we, 
we there are some tools in which we discuss we fill some some forms so that we can all self-evaluate ourselves in this um, consciential autonomy and we can improve this is all these are all knowledge that we can use for our own benefits Eliane, can I can I just uh, jump in? Uh, you mentioned conscience of autonomy. I think it's a very important point because sometimes we think that being autonomy is just being independent and not being connected with with anybody and being self sufficient. Actually, the more connected we are, the more autonomy we can develop. No, because that class goes together with one class. I remember we have it's important one. It's interassistentiality which is uh, you you guys mentioned before no it's the base of base of everything we do here without assisting others and ourselves there's nothing much we could do no so first of all you help yourself no you get in touch with energies you discover the vehicles of manifestation you end up qualifying your life in a evolutive process now that you are great, now that you are feeling better, let's help the others. No, there are so yes. many people that need to be helped. So this is the, the class is to help us to understand that. No, the better we are, yeah. the better we can help. Yeah. And also understand the importance of the interdependence that we we uh, we are living together with our group karmic uh, group karma, our family, our friends. And we all need each other to evolve. When I improve myself, I'm improving all my, my group karma. That is my the, the group that I, I live together with. And yes. so it's, we have a, a lot of knowledge to, to talk about with the students and to discuss, to debate. The, the Jack Lame. Is there any class that is your favorite that we haven't mentioned yet? Well, there's two classes I'd like to mention. The first is the multidimensionality class. So I think uh, this class is very interesting because it kind of, it gives this kind of overview of the different dimensions, the extra physical dimensions that you can visit, right? Uh, when you have like an out of body experience or, you know, I guess even after we, uh, die or go through that desoma. There, is, you know, there's these different dimensions that we we can go to. So we explain about them, um, and also the different types of consciousnesses that you can encounter, um, and that you know, because uh, when we're out of the body, then you know we can maybe come face to face with these different types of consciousnesses, even though we can you know um, start to perceive them in our own. In our own lives right so we get to yeah understand more clearly like these different groups of consciousnesses um we mentioned some of them right uh, um you know the helper but we go into more detail with that um and then the other class i'd like to mention is the the class on hollow carmology and this is uh eliani started, started to mention this idea of you know the group karmic relations um, so this is the class that we go more into more detail with that, you know, the, it's not the first life that, you know, we come into where we, we have these strong relationships with some people and, you know, and, and in our family, we have these, uh, relationships and affinities or, and, um, and so this understanding that it's, um, you know, our life today is like based on the past lives that we had. So there's like a repercussion of our past lives on this life, you know, all the acts that we did. And so we understand more deeply about this concept also of karma. So it's, uh, you know, we kind of Favorite, we start yeah. to understand more deeply, yeah, these different influences in our life and why we have the life that we have, you know. <laughs> So there, there are also, there is a class, um, if I may just remember, Evolutionary Priorities, which is also an interesting class because 
we are all talking about discovering a new micro universe. No, we are full of things to be discovered, full of things. We just mentioned a few, you no, know? holosoma, projectology, bioenergy, holocarma, so many important things about ourselves. You no, know? we even talk a lot about uh, thoughts, sentiments, and emotions and energies. So with so many information, how we can process and how we can establish what is more important. No, it's, it's hard yeah. to know. So that's why we, we have a class to establish that, to help us to, to fulfill, to fill in the blanks, so to say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and we live in the era of abundance. We have so many things going on, so many good stuff for free and the, in the internet and all over. So what is the priority? What are the priorities in our life? What should be for us to feel better in this life and in other future lives as well? And also, what do we do with all this information that we get? Okay, so we do the course, but for what? What's, you know, what's the priority? Where, what, what can we do with it? Where can we, you know, take it? So... This is, from, yeah. From the very practical the point of view, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's it for our viewers, everybody who's who will watch this video and who's, who is watching us now. We have a very complete course, right? We talk about the conceptual paradigm. We explore different dimensions, contacts, out-of-body experience, bioenergies. But we also go deeper into self-knowledge, self-reeducation, and the importance that we have in these topics to give you a bigger picture, a general picture of yourself, the, the moment that you were in. And we have one question here, who wants to, to answer this? So Anna Yoga asks us, how would this course help me develop my paranormal abilities? Well, I can answer, I can try and to answer and, and the teachers in. can compliment, but it really helps because first of all, we learn about this part phenomena. What is what? We, we give name to the part phenomena. So we, for example, we, we talk about clairaudience, clairvoyance, um, um, what else? Out of body experience, even more evolved phenomena like the cosmo consciousness phenomena that is an, a very interesting experience. And there is a, a there are many many paranormal phenomena that we talk about in, during the classes, and we uh, we it try we try to de-dramatize because they are part of ourselves. They we can. Uh, achieve, for example, there is a phenomenon that is called uh, the precognition, in which we can um, foresee something that is going to happen in the future. We can, there are some possibilities, and we access these possibilities. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Just to yeah. compliment right at this moment, it's very interesting that we can develop disabilities. And in the course, we teach techniques that you can apply to achieve these techniques. Yes. So it's not necessarily a gift that you were born with or something. It's something that we develop over lives, many lives. And in the course, we even go further, right? We explore even further. That's it. And we can develop because as we learn the theoretical part, we can see that, for example, I myself, I always had this kind of precognition, things that were supposed to have in the future. And of course, many of them didn't happen, happened, but some of them really happened. So my precognition was right. And it was not a gift because many people have this. So we can develop abilities and also um, we can de-dramatize to lose the fear of having these paranormal abilities. So I think it's something that is very useful for us. I can compliment on that, Eliane. Please? 
Yes, it's very important. Uh, and it's, it's also important to remember that in this course, you know, since it's an in-depth course, you know, an entry in-depth course, we are going to learn that we are not only physical. So once we open the door to expand this non-physical paradigm, what we call it consciential paradigm, actually the consciential paradigm was created because uh, Instructor Vieira was investigating the consciousness, was investigating himself. And then he used to have out-of-body experience at the age of 12. And from back then, he started to investigate. So the consciousness, the conscienciological paradigm comes from our self-investigation. So we are not only physical human beings. That's why in every class, we have 30 minutes of energetic practice. Once we practice, even together in the group, we will acquire important tools to develop this uh, bioenergetic self-mastery. And together, also the, the pair of phenomena, they also develop, they, they also come together as a gift, as a joy. And even a better way to interpret reality, you know. Uh, remember the experience I told you at the beginning when I saw this non-physical being, I was shocked, I was not aware because I had not any information so far. So it's, that's why it, uh, we, we develop, we, we, uh, we learn and learn by practicing as well together. And how all of these classes and the, the aspects and the topics that we deal with the course, how they help us in our daily life? Evolution, mm -hmm. I, I would say. I think we, we, we manifest better. We have, there, there is even a book about the power of the habits. If we don't change habits, it's hard to evolve. Evolution is the search for the better in all aspects of our life. So if we want to be better, we need information and we need to place our hands, hand on the job. No, we need to do self-research, self-analysis, self-perception and qualify our reality to evolve better. No, therefore, we need information and a complete course to help us with that. I think um, this knowledge, this, this content, they amplify our vision about everything, about ourselves, our possibilities, um, to understand the others that are around us. Why do we have so many different levels of conscientiality all over, around the world? Why are people so evolved and so de dedicated to assistance? And while others are still robbing and killing, we can understand there, there is a, the evolutionary scale of the consciousness that we studied during the, the course. And we can understand that we are all evolving, but each one in a different level. And we are all, um, we, we, we will end up evolving anyway and it depends on our will and a series of things so i think this course they bring us tools information and experiences for us to understand this this process that is the evolution of the consciousness and also to lose the fear of death because we are, end up understanding that we are here in this in this planet to learn to assist each other and, and this is not the end this is just a step and we will continue be having other lives so that we can evolve and more right so we end up losing the fear of death or de-dramatizing it there is uh, something else i would like to address into that what you mentioned, Eliane, conflicts. Sometimes we, we suffer. We have so many inner conflicts. 
and we don't know the best direction to deal with. So learning and recycling, recycling ourselves and invest on, on self-research and self-knowledge help us to deal with inner conflicts. We are not here, believe it or not, we are not here in this life, guys, to, to suffer. No, we can we can profit from our life. We we can develop our existential program. So this is also one of the tools that I have been improving. Before I get in touch with Consensiology, I was a person with many inner conflicts. I was always searching for answers. And then I discovered that the most of the answers are inside. We just need to open and search and look better from the best way. I think another point that is um, very, I mean, very important for us in Consensiology, for the courses that we teach and, and the knowledge that we, we teach the students is the empowering. Right, because we are always we are always focusing on empowering the student to be able to accomplish what what the student wants. Right, so we give the knowledge, we teach about bioenergies, and we give the techniques. So there you go. The student have the technique; he can apply the technique. The student is empowered in his life to to do and achieve. Right, uh, all of his desires and, and, uh, and aspects for his uh, life mission. And talking about achieving, what will the students be able to achieve at the end of the course? Uh, we, 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 there are so many possibilities. Do you want to talk, Yanni? Yeah, I just want to go very fast for, for some of the possibilities, but you can complement, Fabiana, just, um, but as I told you, something is to lose the fear of death, to master or improve the bioenergy, self-mastery, uh, bioenergetic self-mastery, increase the self-knowledge. Uh, we also promote... Uh, some intraconscientious recyclings because as we are learning things about ourselves, we can see things in a different, with a different lens and recycle what is not so good for us. We can understand more these inner conflicts, as you told, and also the human dilemmas, not also inner conflicts, but also other people's conflicts. Wow. Um, uh, what else? Be more self-confident. I think it's a, this course is a game changer because one thing is seeing the life from the intraphysical point of view. Another thing is seeing the life from a more integrated way. You, know? you diminish the conflicts, you perceive people better. One point is perceiving people better. And uh, because once you, we start perceiving ourselves better, we will replicate that to others. So we apply all the tools, no? We just mentioned out of the body projection. Imagine what a change in your life if you can pop out of the body with 100% of lucidity. This is possible. So what are the, the things that you will be able to accomplish? Other things are parapsychic signals, you no? Know? Perceiving little details and uh, things that are actually signals that perhaps you never realize that they were parapsychic signals. For example, sometimes you perceive a, a super change of temperature. It's cold and then it, out of nothing it's warm and you feel warm and it's not uh, physical. There is not a physical relationship. It is totally related with bioenergetic perception. So all those classes, they will help us to perceive life in a totally different way, in a much more evolutionary way, so to say. 
Yeah, I'd like to, following that, I'd like to mention a few things I think, yeah, that could help. For example, um, you may have already touched on this, but just to expand this idea of, you know, people have, may experience phenomena throughout their lives. They may, you know, have these sensations and, and just not really understand or have a very distorted view about it. And this course will just help the person to gain clarity, understanding about what's really going on and and to, you know, gain this greater perspective, you know, this multidimensional perspective about, you know, this, this phenomenon. And, and, um, and I think that's one aspect. Um, and of course, you know, getting tools to, you know, it's just providing all these tools to help the person to, you know, realize their fullest potential really as a consciousness in evolution. And the other aspect is, yeah, related to this idea of, you know, helping, it's related to this idea of reaching a person's potential, but yet there's no formula for that person, but you, you give a person tools to be able to investigate for themselves what is best for them, you know, it, it's, it's different to every other person around them, and yet there's something for them that they need to do and for, you know, and the person can understand how to start searching for that and realising their potential. So this, this course, I think, gives that. I agree, Jacqueline. That's yeah, the, excellent. The, the, the last class, actually, uh, it's, it's called Conscientious Self-Reeducation. No? And, and this is a, a summary, so to say, from everything we've been, we've been debating here. No? It's a, self, a strong self-reeducation from oneself points of view. So as Jacqueline mentioned, no, we, we will have, uh, we'll be acquiring the tools to uh, apply, first of all, first and foremost in ourselves, and then understand the reality and apply reality from a different perspective, a much wider and existential perspective. So one last question that comes to my mind is, um, People from different background, if someone is coming from a religious background, if someone is coming from the yoga background, is this course for them? Yes, it's for everyone who is interested in learning something new, something different from that is called conscientious paradigm, that is multidimensional, that or and multiseriexological or that deals with other lives it says uh, the this premise uh, settles that we, it's not the first time that that we are here in this life there will be other lives we had previous ones and so if the person is open for that so it's for everyone for example uh, I, I use it to, uh, to be a very religious person. I had a religious paradigm. All my, my, my fam family background was religious. And I, I, I entered, I started studying Conscienciology. I changed my, my point of view with the time. But for me, it was great use to, very useful to know this new, this new approach. I think it's interesting because everyone, you know, regardless of their, their religion, their, their background, you know, we are all, just like we are all humans, we are all consciousnesses, you know, and so we all um, have, our, have experiences and it's what, you know, connects all of us. And, and it's, yeah, it's something goes beyond. So it's, it is for everyone. And as, as Eliani was saying, you know, if the person has like an open mind, then, um, you know, they, they can take advantage, they can benefit from this course. Um, and, and it's very useful for them. So it was an interesting question. <laughs> yeah, and I just remember that one of the pillars of the conscientious paradigm is universalism. So this is for everyone. Everyone has these experiences, these potentials, these characteristics. Actually, so if the person has will and wants something, go for it because he will, he or she will get it for sure. 
we are all human beings so we are all consciousness we are all individuals and we can learn every day more you no know, minute by minute second by second you now of course we we need to consider a little bit of open mind to experience that there is one a very important principle which is don't believe on anything experience have your own experience so apply that on yourself have your lucid out of the body experience deal with your own self energy perceive your own para phenomena this is the experience that will help us to acquire and to expand the perception of the reality in a conscientological point of view you know, in a much wider perspective and it should be known that for example this these experiences this phenomena is as you know old as old as even older than humanity you know it's it's been around and and different tribes talk about it yes. and you know so it's nothing new it's it's always existed it's just the the way that it's yeah compiled the information and and you know making it so accessible in in a way that's you know very informative very well yes. observed that's true it's all yeah. over and uh without the drama no without the all the objects and the drama and the fear and the struggling we don't need anything of this no it's just yeah go for or it learning and placing on practice and learning from that you know? right. yeah and even the mysticism or the distortions that came in the past you know it's a way that's just it's very clear it's very accessible the information yeah it's cl clear objective we have a lot of material that the person can download for free even books all in english for free and we have the glossary that we we provide all the student with all these materials and so if if you who are listening us who are listening uh, to this live so if you feel if you have conscientious openness openness and if you uh, feel like really going into this uh, new world of knowledge that is as Jacqueline said is not so new but it's it has a new organization for you to understand it better so join us in this course of course come participate bring your questions your doubts your inner conflicts and we will do our best to help you yeah one thing that uh, the course for sure helps is to to give the the missing pieces of the puzzle yes. right so right. people that are starting their journey or they're they are in their journey evolutionary journey and already have so much information but sometimes they need one or two extra pieces i'm pretty sure that we can over the the course analyze it together and and then help the students find these missing pieces of their puzzle thank you so much instructors for joining us thank you so much for your time today and just as just for us to close then the, our uh, presentation today so here you have the course which will start September 2nd, Fridays and Saturdays, Sao Paulo from 9 to 11.30, Vancouver from 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., which will be morning time for Sydney. So in Sydney, start September 3rd, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 to 12.30 p.m. Again, the course has 20 live online classes, a 50-hour is introductory level, but it's a very complete course as you as you've seen from today we explore many different aspects okay so hope to see you in our course and all the links are going to be in the description of the youtube video or in our facebook page you can follow us on our instagram you can follow us on our channel consciousness and evolution on youtube and we hope to see you all around Thank you. It was a pleasure. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>